China has revealed their version of a Tesla Cybertruck. And it's a little different, but it's also very, very similar. In fact, there's even a cyber tent, a little bit like the Cybertruck's tent to go with it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. I just want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Fantastic to well, have you supporting the channel. Really appreciate what you do. Dong Feng. They are a well-known Chinese car company. I actually owned a Dong Feng electric car. I couldn't drive it here legally in Australia. I did drive it a couple of times. Don't tell anyone, by the way, at night time. But I bought this vehicle, right? It was from a, an auction. Um, a company went bankrupt and they were doing engineering work to try and work out how to build uh, different products. Anyway, they had this vehicle. It hadn't really been driven very much. I bought the vehicle at auction. I wanted to use it as a, a giant battery. <laughs> that was my plan essentially. And my plan was to connect that um, to my house and then have that vehicle power my house. It was a pretty big battery pack. It was about a 65 kilowatt hour battery pack. And yeah, I then Shannon got cancer of course. And so we ended up selling it and we went to Thailand. Anyhow, it was a good car. I thought it drove really well. In fact, I drove it and I thought it, I thought it drove better than the BYD at 03. That was my feeling. To be fair, I only drove this car a few times. I drove the 803 quite a bit more. I had the 803 for a few months before we sold that before going to Thailand as well. Dong Feng have revealed their kind of version of a Cybertruck. They revealed it at the Beijing Auto Show about a week ago. Now, Wuhan based Dong Feng is one of China's big four state owned car companies. The company sells more than 2 million vehicles a year mostly through joint venture partnerships with automakers like Honda, Nissan, and Peugeot. As you can imagine, their sales for those companies though have been going down over the past 12 months. Dongfeng calls this electric car simply the 2024 concept pickup truck. But to be fair, Chinese companies rarely build concepts. They're usually actual production vehicles. They're not like you know, um, American and Japanese and European car companies often build concepts and, and they often don't actually make them. China doesn't usually do that. Usually when they build a concept, it actually is becomes a real car. Some of the edges on this vehicle are clearly softer than the Cybertruck, but like the Cybertruck, Dong Feng's concept vehicle is very much wedge shaped. The front looks sort of similar, how it doesn't have the bonnet really. And it has a silver body with a prominent nose and a covered cargo bed above the back wheels. At first glance, I thought it doesn't look like a Cybertruck. And then I thought, hang on a minute, it kind of does. And I kind of like it. It's weird like the Cybertruck, but it looks very functional and logical. On the showroom floor, Dong Feng had a small mattress that was lying in the bed with tent tarps over it. And you can see this in a video from Inside China Auto. So it's a little bit like the Cybertruck's tent with a bed in the back. They're kind of, you know, copying that concept. Inside China Auto's host recorded a full walkthrough of the auto show. And he said that this was a Cybertruck-esque vehicle with a sledgehammer-esque design. Unlike the rest of Dong Feng's lineup at the show, this vehicle was cordoned off and you couldn't look on the inside, probably because there might not have been much of an interior to look at, I assume. For those of you that are not aware, and maybe you're new to the EV market, China is Tesla's biggest market outside of the United States. That's according to Bloomberg. Uh, the company delivered more than 130,000 vehicles in China in January and February. Tesla, though, does not sell the Cybertruck in China. When they took the Cybertruck to China recently, um, there were massive crowds. People were like, wow, that thing looks amazing. We want to buy one. Tesla was like, no, sorry, we're not selling them here. So a lot of people in China were quite disappointed that they can't buy the Cybertruck. And a lot of them do want to order. A lot of people have actually apparently messaged Tesla saying, we want to order the Cybertruck, make them, make them, make them. Um, of course, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. Therefore, Chinese car companies are going, well, what about if we make one? Something similar anyway. Tesla actually said in January that unlike Europe, it would be very difficult to get the Cybertruck road legal in China where pickups are, of course, much less common than they are in the United States. Although the pickup segment is definitely growing pretty quickly in China. Now, could Tesla manufacture the Cybertruck in China? I think they could. 
I in fact think they should. It'd be a huge hit, especially in places like Thailand and Australia, which are not that far away from China. And they, well, we love pickup trucks here. Pickup trucks are the most popular vehicle here in Australia, plus New Zealand, plus they are in Thailand. They even sell really well in South Africa. There's a few right-hand drive markets for you that would like pickup trucks that could get big ones from China if China were to make the Cybertruck. Hopefully they do. That said, I, I honestly can't see it ever happening. Guys, what do you think of this Cybertruck sort of copy? I mean, it's not really a copy. It's like its own version of a Cybertruck. I think it works. What do you think? Thanks for watching.